What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Afan, and today we're gonna watch this movie called Spider Man Far From Home. Yeah, so I just saw Avengers Endgame for the very first time, and all the movies before that as well for the very first time. And now I'm gonna watch Spider Man Far From Home for the very first time. So, yeah, let's do this. All right, yeah, um, if you're new to the channel, I recently became a fan of Marvel after seeing the movies. I barely know anything about the comic books. And ever since watching these movies, I've become a fan of Spider-Man, which is one of the reasons why I saw the original Spider-Man movies. I mean, another reason was that you guys kept asking me to see him. I mean, the Tobey Maguire and uh, Andrew Garfield, I believe his name is, those one, the Amazing uh, Spider-Man and the other three. Um, those are on the channel as well, first time viewing them. Um, so yeah, I really like this Spider-Man fella, innit? Out of all the Marvel superheroes, I thought Iron Man was pretty good as well, but may he rest in peace, we know what happened there. I'm not entirely sure how they're gonna go forward with that, because Iron Man, you know, the, there is a suit, so like someone else can use it too. So I'm not entirely sure if they're gonna go that route. But yeah, I liked Iron Man. I liked his personality, his charm. But I also liked uh, uh, Peter. Peter um, Dinklage. No, what's his name? Peter Peter Parker, right? I feel like I can relate more to him. You know, I see him go through high school and I see him go through college and stuff like that. And that's what I recently went through as well. So like, I'm like, oh, I, he's kind of kind of like me. And he's just a regular guy. You know, he's not like a rich billionaire either, like Batman or Iron Man. You know, it's very relatable and uh, similar age as well. So I guess that sort of makes me like him a bit more as well. But yeah, I like uh, this Spider-Man character basically uh, quite a bit. So I'm very much looking forward to this. I know there were a few movies after this uh, with Spider-Man as well. I'm going to be watching them all. All of the Marvel uh, movies and shows and stuff well maybe not all the shows but definitely all the movies so yeah um that that last movie was quite a roller coaster right end game it was and this is the one where this phase ends i believe end game wasn't the end of that phase someone told me in the comment section uh which i thought end game was the end of phase three i believe but yeah, after this, we're going to be starting a new phase. But yeah, let's watch the final movie in Marvel Phase 3. Without any further ado, here we go. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Quite a transition. That's an Audi. Those Marvel movies have a lot of Audis. Maybe they have like a sponsorship deal or something with them. Like... Tony Stark owned a few Audis as well, the R8 as well. Also, they're really nice cars, so there's that. Hey, it's Nick Fury and Hill, Agent Hill. Yep. Locals say the cyclone had a face. Whoa. Okay, then. Oh, yeah, bullets are going to help. I know this song. It's such an amazing song. I've heard this one. Tony? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that voice. Oh, not. And the robot Viz. Gone. Getty's images. For their help with that touching video tribute. This year has been. It is crazy. I can say. Jason. Over five years ago, half of all life in the universe, including yeah. Midtown. Wow. Heroes brought us back. Appeared in the middle of the game. But our classmates that didn't blip. Had grown five years older. Yeah, like my little. Wow. Than me. Does anyone even have a plan? I have a plan. I'm gonna sit next to MJ on the flight. Ah, not that kind of a plan. All that much important though. Perhaps maybe even more important than the world-ending event. Favorite flower is black dahlia because of well. The murder. The murder. Four. I'm like, whose murder? That's probably a movie. Probably. 
pay travel tip, you should probably download a VPN on your phone just so yeah. it can't track you while we're abroad. Well, not for the tracking. I was thinking they can access different sort of, you know, stuff like on Netflix and stuff. Or Disney Plus? Well, this is not on Disney Plus. When, when I back to my apartment, the family Amazon Prime. That works. <laughs> to our very own Spider-Man. Yay. Thank you, Miss Parker, for having me. And thank you, you guys, for having me. <laughs> thank you, you guys. It <laughs> was amazing. That was great. Oh, that was so cool. That was metal. I hope it didn't hurt her hand. It wasn't in the pocket. No, I thought you did great. Yeah, well, I actually did think you were a little stiff. He was very stiff. You know, he saves the whole world, but being on stage is the hardest thing you might have done. It's the same for me. New dress? Uh, yeah, yes, it is. It's my beard. <laughs> my, my blue beard. <laughs> BB? Anyway, so uh, the reason I'm like 500,000 Petter Pop! Petter? Pepper Potts. Signed it. The very generous Pepper Potts yeah. said to. Yeah, there it is. Be here. I think I'm going to go change the sterno under the vegan lasagna. Mmm. Okay. This sort of thing? What just happened? Yeah. Heads up. Nick Fury's calling you. I mean, if it was really that important, he'd probably call someone else, not me. <laughs> Well, doesn't have a choice anymore. I don't really want to talk to Nick. A lot of them are gone. If you don't talk to him, then I have to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. Well, why don't you want to talk to him? Because I'm scared. Just answer the phone. <laughs> you sent Nick Fury to voicemail? You do not ghost Nick Fury. <laughs> yeah. I... No, no, he's not ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. What is it like to take over from Tony Stark? Those are some big shoes to fill. Though I, yeah, very big shoes. Yeah. They're expecting someone to be the head of Avengers now, because, well, the head of the Avenger, both of them. Or the constant fight between those two, <laughs> Cap and Iron Man, and both are gone. <laughs> Love how he smelled the socks. That's what I do, too. It smells good, it's good. So sorry. Do not turn off. Why? Reminds me of that Better Call Saul button in Davis and Maine. Can dodge bullets, but not bananas. <laughs> Peter Tingle. Peter Tinklage. <laughs> I love that guy. Our boy Oterian. You should pack your suit just in case. I have a tingle about it. <laughs> stop saying tingle maid. Tingle maid, tingle maid, tingle all the way. <laughs> What hell is that? Oh, that's that fr suit fridge thing. Parker, this is called an airplane. It's like the buses you're used to, except it flies over the poor neighborhoods instead of driving through them. Ma'am, mm -hmm. he blipped, so technically he's 16, not 21. I'll take that. <laughs> I don't even know this girl. <laughs> Got him. Did you know Brad was coming? One day he's that little kid. Who oh, they like. Okay, so it's that. Okay, it's like a triangle thingy going on. Cool, cool, cool. Not all the girls are after him. No, man, they're all after him. Particularly Michael Jackson or Jordan. There's an old lady sitting in front of us wearing a crazy amount of perfume, and it's kind of setting off Peter's allergies. Um, you know, Betty, if you could just switch seats with him that would oh uh i'll tell you from experience perfume allergy no, no he's gonna switch with them ah uh, well that worked peter no, come I with just, me let's get you uh, out of there sorry. zach and yeah. sebastian you take that's ned right. and peter well that really backfired eh bring this to my attention your safety is my responsibility and mr dells but he's <laughs> uh lovely well so did you worked out for someone? Nope. <laughs> Did I tell you how my wife pretended to blip out? Turns out she ran off with a guy in her hiking group. We had a fake funeral for her and everything. Well, the funeral was real. That's not funny. That's yeah. It's kind of that's not kind of that's really sad or like really really sad. Oh. Depressing actually. <laughs> the dude looked like he's doing well. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> Yeah. What's that? Wakanda? What? Something about Tony as well. Heart of Iron.
<laughs> Definitely not awkward. Like I said, relatable. He's gone. Of course she's gone. Did I say he? I meant she. I'm gonna flip around he and she. English isn't my first language, man. Hey babe, can you hold this for me, please? Yeah, of course. Thanks. Wait, what? He's imagining this, right? No. Okay. Solo bachelors. So uh, we're boyfriend and girlfriend now. That was quick, but all right. Being an American bachelor. Yeah. <laughs> Those were the words of a boy. <laughs> that boy met a woman. That boy is a man. <laughs> Let's go. What? Let's just close. Please no. <laughs> Tony. Wow. This place is sinking. I think you mean charming. These these headphones are too good. I seriously thought someone was knocking on my door. Oh, that's expensive. I know, because I wanted to buy one and then I settled for a webcam instead. I mean, it's pretty good, right? If you apply effects and stuff, makes the colors pop and all that. <laughs> a little bit of work, but you know. Whoa. That was that guy from earlier. Okay, I... Got a little too excited. It might not have been. Maybe it was just some white dude with a beard. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I felt like it was. Off. Oh, Come on, now I'm looking for green shirt with flowers all around. What? Ooh, that's a flowery shirt. German. American. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. It was my new superpower. Like the anti aloha. I was born to say this word. <laughs> So what's in the back? Oh, uh... Oh. <laughs> nice. Uh oh. It's a crocodile. There was a guy that looked right at him. Was he supposed to? Normally, extras are not allowed to look at the... What was that? Hey, come on, man. Okay? Nice, that worked out well. Hotel. Come on vacation. <laughs> Superheroes don't go on vacations. Come on now, fam. Oh, lovely. Nice. Death and destruction. You can't have a superhero movie without it, can you? What's that gonna do? It's made out of water. And that just go through well. If you go soft, if he goes limp. <laughs> You know, because he's damaging the buildings. Let's go. Peter Tinkle. Ledge. <laughs> it is that dude. It is that dude. Green stuff. He was doing green stuff. Yep, this dude. This was behind him in a green shirt, like just like this shirt. But it was green. Excuse me, sir. I'm really strong and I'm sticky. <laughs> Nice. Strong and sticky, so am I. And not, you know. Nice. Two in a row. Does that second one ring a bell? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like Green Lantern. Not really. Well, I don't know. I don't know anything about him. He's just green and he's making this stuff. So like, you know? <laughs> New hero, let's go! Peter, you didn't want to be a hero anyway, so it's all good. Oh, that's safe! You know, being a man of science... Witches. 
<laughs> Was that Mr. Strange? Doctor Strange, hey, Doctor Strange. Mr. Doctor. Yeah, it's happy. He's here. Okay, they're definitely a thing. And he wants to say hi. Hi, people. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm really taking care of your aunt. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're taking good care of your aunt, huh? Or his, uh, uh, Peter's aunt, not his. <sighs> English is difficult, man. He's all right. He's no Spider-Man. <laughs> what is it with you and Spider-Man? Likes a guy, man. He's just awesome, okay? He is, very much. He inspires me to be a better man. What's up, dickwad? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not yet. Luomo del Mysterio is Italian for man of mystery. Man of mystery. Mysterio. Cool man. name. <laughs> so Paris tomorrow, go to the Eiffel Tower. I read it was secretly built as a mind control antenna to create an army of the insane, which is why it's my favorite destination on the whole trip. Nice. Very romantic, eh? What are you going to do about the water monster? Nothing. Estentore, that's what he's gonna do. I had just finished my fruit cobbler, right? You're a very difficult person to contact. You're Nick Fury. You just shot Ned. Ned Stark. I used to know everything. Then I come back five years later and now I know nothing. <laughs> no intel. Are you Jon Snow? Cause that makes you Ned's bastard? You just shot your father. Well. Not saying anything, no spoilers. A village was see if anyone needs any emotional counseling. <laughs> He's ready to take him out. <laughs> a village was destroyed by what may well be another world threatening you. Still awake? You're not answering any of my texts. Okay. That's why it's imperative. Hey boy. Another person touches that door and I'm not going to attend another funeral. <laughs> oh, <laughs> lovely. <sighs> yeah. Stark left these for you. Stark. You don't avoid Nick Fury, man. You don't ghost Nick Fury. That's obviously. I mean, he's gonna find you. Yeah, I know. Nice shades, eh? Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Stark mm. wouldn't get that because it's not a Star Wars reference. <laughs> it's, it's, I, it's very similar to what Uncle Ben said, actually. With great power comes great responsibility, you know? It's kind of the same thing, isn't it? Also, I've only seen the first three Star Wars movies, so even if it was, I probably won't get it anyways. <laughs> this is Mr. Beck. Mysterio? Well, you can call me Quentin. Tarantino? Got some good movies, you know? This is that guy. Okay, so this guy was there, and that's why he was there, because he probably knew about the attack or something. Mr. Beck is... From Earth, just not yours. There are multiple realities, Peter. Lovely. And there's a multiverse? Because I thought that was just theoretical. I'm talking about an eternal inflation system, and how does that even work with all the quantum? It's insane. <laughs> Sorry. It's really cool. Don't ever apologize for being the smartest one in the room. Anyway. <laughs> Called him dumb. They're new, all right, but. Better be careful. You don't call Nick Fury. Well, he didn't technically call. You know what I mean. Come on, man. Called them elementals. First, thank Mr. Beck for destroying the other three. There's only one left. We have one mission. Kill it. You're coming with us. I'm sorry. Did you say Prague? Fury, this all seems like big time. You know, huge. <laughs> I mean, I'm just a friendly neighborhood. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, Nick. I love this guy. His deliveries are great. What about Thor? Off world. With Guardians of the Galaxy, right? But if my aunt finds out I left my class trip seen like this in Europe after the Washington Monument, my whole class will figure out who I am and Okay, I understand. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you get back before your teachers miss you. <laughs> Bye, ma'am. Yeah. Wow, he's really eyeing him. He's is he still looking at him? I think so. He's still looking at him the entire time. It blurred away so I couldn't tell, but not get sick, okay, babe? Thanks, baby. Thanks, baby. I'm wearing the perfect shirt for this, by the way. They're all wearing these shirts. We're going to Prague, huh? Hey, lovely. Tour company called. They upgraded us. <laughs> like I said, Nick Fury gets what Nick Fury wants. I'm, uh... <laughs> Dimitri. It's your boy, the big F, cruising through the Alps with my. 
Stark Industries. That look nice. Thanks, Tony Stark. I trust you. Say Edith. Whoa. They're really cool. I am Edith. Edith. I have access to all of Tony's protocols. Is the new vision? Jarvis. Edith stands for Even Dead, I'm the Hero. <laughs> Ah, uh, lovely. Is MJ texting? Try romantic spots. Miss you, miss you more. <laughs> Where exactly are we? I'll figure it out. Now this one. Agent Hill? No, that was a blonde. Pepper Potts? Close the door. Oh. Someone entirely new. I'm Peter Parker. Take off your clothes. You first. <laughs> I told Fury Spider-Man cannot be seen in Europe. Another suit. She's tall. Take off your clothes. Okay, okay ma'am. Ow, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, don't. What are you doing? Brad. I'll leave you two alone. Oh you took a picture. I can't pretend that I didn't see what I just saw. I know you're trying to get with him. Mm-hmm. But I like her too. Mm-hmm. And now he has evidence. I'm sorry, man. I have to. Yeah. There's the truth. I don't think that's what it is. I think he's trying to go ahead in the race. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. Um, Brad Davis. He has a photo of me. Target is Brad Davis. Initiating strike. Yeah, shoot him with a nuke. <laughs> no. Oh, my. Wow. It's like that strike, orbital strike or whatever it's called, I forgot, in GTA. Oh, firing. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I know you think none of us have noticed, Peter. What? But your new look, I love it. <laughs> Very European. <laughs> the glasses. Tony Stark all around. Everybody loves him. Wow, this place is so classy. Yeah, so why are we here? <laughs> What's the status on the elemental thing? Where's it gonna happen? Here in the city. We have to do something, Peter, please. We're all counting on you. No pressure. And they still won't evacuate the city. Idiots. <laughs> I will be in the cathedral tower. Keeping watch for the fire monster. When that shows up, I will radio you guys. And Mysterio and I will move in. Maneuver it away from civilians if you can. But most important, keep it away from metal. Start gave you a multi-billion dollar AR tactical intelligence system. And the first thing you do with it is start to blow up your friends. It's clear to me that you were not ready for this. Harsh but true. Well, Fury asked me to come up here and see how you were doing. He just, he felt bad about snapping at you. Really? You guys do have sarcasm on this earth. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to have to save the world this summer. You're not a jerk for wanting a normal life, kid. You see things, you do things, you make choices. Even if you win a battle, sometimes they die. Part of me that wants me to tell you, just turn around, run away from all this. And then there's another part of me that knows what we're about to fight. And I'm glad you're here. It's really nice to have somebody to talk to about. Hmm. Our stuff, you know? Yeah. Therapeutic. Able to express yourself fully. If you survive this, you'll have all summer to kill Brad. <laughs> Do you have any idea how much opera tickets cost? No, because none of us have ever wanted to go to the opera. <laughs> ever. Uh, well, I think this is going to be culturally enriching for us. This is going to be maybe. <laughs> She's looking at him like, bro, come on. Going past all of this. Yeah, because we'd much rather go to a four hour opera instead of the biggest part. Yeah, I was gonna say walking right past that. <laughs> Check one, two. Hmm. <clears throat> you look really pretty. And therefore, I have value? Yes. <laughs> She's messing with ya. Come on. I picked up on her personality. You look pretty too. Thank you. Oh my gosh, opera glasses. She has that deadpan humor, you know? I love it. I'll save you a seat next to me because I'm also out of seat so I'll be up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she likes him too. Be careful. And Peter, whatever you do, please steer the monster away from you. <laughs> 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 
sort of at himself. And Brad is going to swoop in. <laughs> yep. Do you think she's going to the carnival? <laughs> Yes, we should go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'd go too. I mean, if I didn't know. Uh oh, it's lava. Back. Come back and help us. <laughs> you're up, kid. They are in Europe. Yep, you're right, kid. I am so sorry, man. <laughs> Do you think that's Spider-Man? No, no, no. It's like a European. <laughs> what's, his, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, uh it's Night Night Monkey. <laughs> night Monkey. We're stuck. Night Monkey. Whoa. Hit it with something you can't absorb. I go left, you go right. Now. You can go on now. He waited too long. Come on, Night Monkey! Lovely. That hurt him! He regenerates. I'm trying! All outies. Wait, what? Just happened. There's like a little shield, it seems, around that area. Whatever happens, I'm glad we met. Whoa. What a Oh, he's gonna go through him. Oh, he went in him. Oh, not in the fun kind of way. Okay. He went in him and then exploded. Not like that. Mr. Beck? I would totally kiss you, but I think I <laughs> throw up in my mouth a little. Even better. <laughs> I, I, I might have a mint. <laughs> Ned's got solution. But not huh. the last threat we'll ever. Find. Wait, he's alive. I, I thought he was gonna die or something. It made it look like that was gonna be the end of Quentin. Hill and I are going to Europol headquarters in Berlin tomorrow. You should join us. We just might take you up on that. We got gifts, Parker. But you didn't want to be here. Mr. Fury, I... I'd love to have you in Berlin, too. But you've got to decide whether you're going to step up or not. Yeah, it's true. It's too distracted. Stark chose he made you an Avenger. Maybe Stark was wrong. Was he? The choice is yours. That guy seems pretty good. Although he's not from this earth, so he'll have to return at some point, so... Maybe you could take under... Like, take him under his wing, teach him. Let's get a drink. I'm not 21. <laughs> Yeah. Responsible night monkey. Tony did a lot for me, so I owe it to him, to everybody. Do you? Mr. Stark gave me the chance to be more. He wanted me to be better than him. What do you want? I want to go back on my trip with my friend and go to the top of the Eiffel Tower with the girl who I really like. <laughs> I mean, that put it on the dealer. Oh my God, thank you so much. What are those? Are those? What are those? It's on the floor. Try them. I actually really like them. <laughs> they look pretty good. They look really stupid. <laughs> they look really good. I don't want, I don't want to try them on. on. <sighs> it's going to look really good with them because, I mean, look at the dude. Uh, yeah, like, like, that was a no-brainer. Like, come on. It's hot as fuck. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm just saying. The next Tony Stark, I trust you. Because maybe he didn't trust me to have Edith. He just trusted me to pick who should. The world needs the next Iron Man. It needs to be an adult. With some experience and that's good like Tony and that's him the guy you just met how can you trust him come on fam like he's a good guy he's cool he's pretty strong as well but come on fam i'd like to transfer your control no to quentin beck peter what are you doing doing the right thing any transfer stark gave you the glass stark gave me a choice it's my choice to make okay and i'm gonna make it waiting for confirmation confirm welcome to the avengers Look good on you. You look really good on him. Thank you. But then again, like I say, he's you know, he's like he's hot as fuck. So like, you know what I mean, just saying, man. Like, you know, look at him, man. I'm gonna go find MJ. I'll give you about a fifty-fifty chance. You're pretty awkward, so. 
He just gave him that. The guy he just met. Whoa. Oh, he's a villain. He... He's doing this? Who's doing this? He's not doing this? I thought he was because he has the blue lights. Oh, he's a villain. He's laughing. And that's that drone. Oh, I thought it was the Tony Stark drone. What? The f what just happened? Tony... This is a big win, but we still got a lot of work. I mean, I know. I I was just being. I just. I. I was just talking. <laughs> to the man who brought us all together, our former boss, Tony Stark. Whoa! The jester wrapped its wealth and technology he was unfit to wield. Like the holographic system I designed, that Tony turned into a self therapy machine. Ring or barf. He renamed my life's work. Barf. He fired me. Oh. That I was unstable. To Tony! Next to William. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave! With a oh, that's... okay. To Victoria. To Victoria! And her secret, ha! Huh? Look, man, that's... that's the best I got. <laughs> but these days, you can be the smartest guy in the room, the most qualified, and no one cares. Unless you're flying around with a cape, or shooting lasers from your hands, no one will even listen. With our technology and with Edith, Mysterio will be the greatest hero on Earth. Then everyone will listen to Mysterio! Mysterio! Might be a little bit unstable, you know? Peter Parker! Peter Parker! Poor kid. This feel bad for Pete, so that's good. Please don't put me on hold. Oh, Peter, you're not dead. <laughs> You're not dead. Camp of science, we're leaving because of witches. Witches. Witches get stitches. So much for Paris. Would have been fun. You look nice. She already likes you, bro. You just gotta say it. But I know, it's not easy. It's so difficult. Hey, there it is. Oh, hey. Hey. I want to do something fun, Mr. Harrington. Yes. Yes, like you want to go? Yes. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Uh, I'll see you outside in 10 minutes. <laughs> hey! Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> She's taller than him, isn't she? She might have heels on. Uh, not that it matters, but you know. Hey, hey. Uh, so where do you want to go? It's because earlier I thought that other girl was really tall, but he might just be short. And she still could be really tall. She could be tall. I'm glad we're doing this. Brad! <laughs> Poor old bratty. You know, they used to execute people on this bridge. Nice. Put them in a basket and they would drown in the water. That's so charming. So romantic. Go on. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm just going to tell you. Uh, MJ, I. I'm Spider-Man. No, I'm Spider-Man. I'm going to say that you're Spider-Man. No, you're Spider-Man. No. Wait, what? I'm not Spider-Man. I mean, I've been watching you for like a while now. Oh, she knows. Peter Washington? The fact that you like disappear out of nowhere for no reason. You know Susan Yang thinks that you're a male escort. What? No, of course I'm not a male <laughs> No, I'm not Spider-Man at all. Well, what about you? <laughs> well, on the news, it was the night monkey. And the news never lies. Well, do the night monkey and Spider-Man use the same webs? I mean, maybe. Monkeys can make mo I just said monkeys. Monkeys can make monkeys, but I was gonna say webs. Are you only watching me because you thought I was Spider Man? Yeah. Why else would I be watching you? I think it's more than that. Just thought that maybe. <laughs> How awkward she is, you know, in that moment she kind of caught, got caught off guard. What is it, like some kind of projector or something? It looked so real. Yeah. Wait a minute, does that mean that elementals are fake? I was gonna sense because we were there, right? There was fire and destruction. The guy made it. So the do Who would do something like that? The thing, the Qu Quentin, the guy. Wait, but it was destroying stuff. Mysterio. I am Spider-Man. Wait, 
You're you're being serious right now? Because I was I was only like sixty. <laughs> what about sixty nine percent? I can't believe I figured. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you just fast forward to the end? He's not even real. He's just an actor. Wait. She doesn't have. What the? F I love this choreography, but it'll do. Uploading software hack. So he has no powers, like at all. An event big enough to cover an entire city. Right, well done. Make sure every drone is weapons hot. We need maximum damage. <laughs> this is gonna cause a lot of casualties. He's what the? F I mean, if I'm gonna be the next Iron Man, I need to save the world from an Avenger. So he's not there. Janice, you'll be in position with my quick change armor for the victory lap. Of course. Do you want to try? No, no. That's. <sighs> Oh, uh, one of the drones that came back from the plaza was missing a projector. It's fine. That projector is evidence. I am trying to fool seven billion people here, <laughs> including Nick Fury. And if he catches on before I've killed him, then he will put a bullet in my head. And nobody wants a bullet in their head, right? Right. Right? Right. Magnifying. There. Located. One day, after I've had to kill Peter Parker because of this, I hope you remember that his blood is on your hands. I was gonna say, how are you gonna kill him? But because he doesn't like have powers, right? It's all projections. Uh, I need my suit. Nice. <clears throat> Go on, take a look. Go on. <laughs> I told you there's more to it. It's just because lovely. Chilling. <laughs> The costume looks great. Costume party. <laughs> Prince's castle. She knows. I told her. He didn't tell me. I figured it out. <laughs> yeah, she did. Working the case together or what? It's been mostly me. I need you to call me. Get her to call me. I love her demeanor. <laughs> um, I mean, I've known first and I've known longer, but it's not a competition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all so awkward. I love it. I'm like, how do you know, know this is not a projection? Look, I know I made a mistake and I'm sorry, but he is not who you think he is. So all that death and destruction we witnessed was created by this? Not just this. I think he's using drones. Who else did you tell about this? <clears throat> Parker. What's wrong? It's Beck. He's here. What? Bill? I was going to say, how do you know? No, no, Wait. Real. Is Nick real? I need to help you walk Wait, away. what's real? What's not? You just a kid. You wanted to run after that girl. So they designed all of this. I know this isn't real. Do you know? Is she real? I don't think you know what's real, Peter. I don't either. Queens is back in Queens. Eh? Nice. Turned him into Ant Spider Man. <laughs> this is trippy. The world's someone to believe in. It's not real. Wait, so this is not real then? Bro, none of it's real. Yeah, so if you get hit, it doesn't matter. Maybe Tony would still be alive. Whoa, come on now. It's gonna be Iron Man, yeah. You made your choice. And all you had to do was step aside. How? Hey, Nick's back. I got him. Did you uh, tell? Just Ned and MJ for my class. You are so dumb. Sucker. So now all your friends have to die. I was just about to say, how do you know this is it? Those guards back there, they were just looking at the dude, and I'm like, why aren't they moving? Why aren't they arresting him? But for what it's worth, Peter, I really am sorry. This is not real, bro. When are you gonna. Re well, that's a very real. Can he take that? Okay, you can take that. 
I don't know, blood marks on the, you know, where he put his hand. Is he good? Not so much. Can VP, that's the Netherlands kit. Hi. Yeah, Dutch. Welcome to the Netherlands. I'm in the Netherlands right now. Yep. Wait, it says Netherlands on his head, but wait, are they real? guys okay? <laughs> ah, lovely. Is this real? Look, it's Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi. Uh, excuse me, sir. Oh. Come on. Look, there's another one. That's the other one. Both of them. Uh, where am I, sir? It's Buk of Langedijk. Uh, can you say that? <laughs> Hi, uh, is Buk of Langedijk? <laughs> Nice folk. Those are not real. Oh, come on, bro. Stop. You're gonna mess up the flowers. Don't land in it. Man, it's happy. Yeah. Happy okay? to see you. Happy. Tell me something only you would know. You pay per viewed a video in your room. They didn't list the titles, but I could tell by the price it was an adult film at the front desk. <laughs> Okay, fine, it's you, it's you, it's you. <laughs> so good to see you. Yes, he's happy to see you. I thought he was my friend, so I gave him the only thing that Mr. Stark left behind for me, and now he's gonna kill my friends in half of Europe, so please, do not tell me to relax. I'm sorry, Happy. I'm sorry, I shouldn't shout. I just really miss him. Yeah. yeah, I miss him too. I was gonna say, this guy's really going through it, you know. First with, um... Everywhere I go. Tony, and now... I see his face. Yeah. It's everywhere, on all the walls and screens and everything. I don't know if that's me, Happy. I'm not Iron Man. I don't think you need to be. You're not Iron Man. You're never going to be Iron Man. Yeah. Tony was my best friend, and he was a mess. He second-guessed everything he did. He was all over the place. The one thing that he did that he didn't second-guess was picking you. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. Now, your friends are in trouble. You're all alone. The tech is missing. What are you going to do about it? I'm gonna kick his ass. But I mean, I mean, I mean, right now, we've been hovering over a tulip field for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> Probably ruined all of them. Yeah, open that. Okay, no, no, no. What? Nothing. Hmm. Reminds him of Tony. It's been a while he's seen someone use that. Oh, I love Led Zeppelin! Ruined all the flowers. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I thought Cree having sleeper cells was top secret information. Nick, satellites are picking up an EM pulse. She keeps calling him Nick. Now, I know he said that people call him Fury, not Nick. That was a whole thing in the Captain Marvel movie, but they're kind of... I'm trying to think if she's called him Nick before in other movies. Because these two are like always together, so like they might be really uh, like close, and so like the Fury thing might not apply to her. You know what I mean? Because I saw him in the back room of a rest stop with some woman in his underwear. Brad, why do you think it's cool to take pictures of people in the bathroom? Hmm. <laughs> well, afternoon. Sounds good. I'm gonna be a cool teacher right now. You gotta stop doing that. <laughs> it's very weird. All stalls. Okay. Look at this, Mr. Guys. Harrington. Yeah. Is he real? I have the kids. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Drones are entering the atmosphere. Weapons hot. Whoa. Execute a kill order on my command. Whoa. Those are the people that know. World people. I'm like, they're that smart coming up with all this tech and all this, but they're not able to figure out that Peter would survive that hit from the train. Stark's going through his belongings. Apparently, there was a surfboard that you left behind. People what? over there said they didn't think that Nick Fury was a surfer. The guy said appearances can be deceiving. Not mine. Don't ever call this number again. What just happened? Fury's got the coded message. I see. The last time he got hit by a train. <laughs> True, but this time I have like a sixth sense. The Peter Tingle. Peter Tingle, yep. Peter Tinglage. <laughs> Okay, so you got Peter Tingle. That's the <laughs> oh, oh, the witches are back! The witches are back! Okay. 
Wait, but their hair is blowing and there's wind and the cars are... It's the drones? The drones are like blowing air at them and stuff? Yeah, there's the drones, okay. That guy. That guy. That guy over there with the hat. He was way too calm. He was looking at the kids. <laughs> I feel like he's trying to say something else. I mean, that sounds very similar to witches. You know? Peter, you sure that's not real? Yeah, it's just a hundred times bigger than- This time it is real, because he's using the drones, right? With, from Edith and everything. I need to have a serious conversation about you and my- <laughs> Let Aunt May and almost said Aunt Happy, Uncle Happy live. The spare shoots his Spider-Man logo. Is there somehow merged into something? Into something else? Told you that guy. It's drawing energy from the Earth's core. See now, that's some bullshit. <laughs> Wait, they didn't get the message? It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. <laughs> that's awesome. That, I mean, the whole thing is kind of awesome, but come on, get to work, boyo. William, I've got drones breaking formation. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to kill him. You tried once and you failed. Wow, that's cool. You got me? Nice. I gotcha. Yeah, she does. Coming apart. Okay, so they got it. Cool. Spider Man, okay? You gotta get on that jet. You work for Spider Man? I work with Spider Man, not for Spider Man. Oh, well, that jet is gone. That jet's been jettisoned. I don't know what that word means, but hey. Gotta try my luck in it. If it works, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then hey, it doesn't. Man's gotta shoot a shot. Straight feet, Vic! Go into the ball! She's gonna hit him with that, yep. Spike thing. I see you. Peekaboo. There you go. Good teamwork. Hit it again, hit it again, hit it again. You should've hit it a couple more times. <laughs> what? You're not Captain America, come on. <laughs> nice throw back. Well, not very nice throw, but very nice throw back. Gotcha. He's on fire. Well, there's the ocean right there. Just jump into it. Oh, just take a quick dip in the ocean, bro. You're on fire. There you go. Nice. That was cool. <laughs> and that landing as well. Oi, oi, oi. Finally. Illusion almost back up. I like how this guy just moves on. Like, this guy survived a train hitting him. And he's just like, oh, finally, he's dead. Like, let's move on to the next thing. Not very smart, is he? My life playing video games. I have a fake ID. And I never even used it. Okay. Stupid videos daily for people to like. Hey, that's me. <laughs> I'm obsessed with telling the truth, even if it hurts other people's feelings. Mm. I'm in love with Spider Man's aunt. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> We're sharing, right? I don't know why, but all right. He's got a shield. He's not Iron Man, he's Captain Iron Man. <laughs> Captain Iron Spider. Boom, let's go. Edith? You want these? Come and get them. Mm -mm. He's still there, come on. Come on, Peter Tinkle. Peter Tinkle. Nice. Wow, he really is Peter Tinklage. 
more in the strike zone, the chance of getting no, hit is... Fire! All the drones! No! Oh yeah, you're definitely not unstable. Tony was definitely wrong. Okay. Yeah, that's why they didn't want to fire. Dick. I mean, Beck. You know. You lied to me. And I trusted you. You're a good person, Peter. Stark was right. You do deserve that. Eat your tinklage, eh? Look at that. Edith, turn off the drones! It's over. Thank you. People need to believe. And nowadays, they don't believe anything. Is this real? All illusions are down, Peter. What if that in itself is an illusion? Hey, are you okay? There was just the drones and they were following us and then... Are you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I um, brought that in case you needed some help. <laughs> There's sweaty guy. <laughs> Happy sweaty guy. No, I'm gonna buy you this. I'll give it to Paris. The top. There you go. Did that tingle? <laughs> I wasn't just watching you because I thought you. Mm -hmm. That was obvious. She was lying. I'm sorry, it's broken. I actually like it better broken. Hmm. Probably get back to the class. I'll go and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Taxi. I guess the coded message worked. Appearances can be deceiving. I'm surprised you didn't just wink in the camera. <laughs> Only because I had serious doubts about Beck from the beginning. Not true. He had zero doubts. Man. Uh I was gonna say, like, these guys, Nick Fury, S.H.I.E.L.D. or whatever they're called nowadays, they, like, just believed <laughs> Quentin Beck. No background checks, none of that. Like, it's these guys, John. I mean, how did he get past them? Well, I guess it proves how good he was, but still, it's kind of hard to believe. Could Mother not make it? Super villain origin story? Maybe. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. Where are your bags? Oh, right, they got blown up. Yeah. <laughs> Is his sewed fridge thing safe? It's got cold water. Or it looks like it at least. <laughs> are you dating? Yes. What? Wherever it might lead. Anywhere. And to share it with off, people. We'll be friends. We're also I'm gonna let you have these memories. Because I've got a date. <laughs> All right. Don't text and swing. <laughs> Lovely. I saw a, a pizza place. I wonder if it was that pizza place from that, um, you know, the Tobey Maguire movies. We are so excited to show you what comes next. <laughs> Like a roller coaster ride. <laughs> All right. Post credit scenes? Come on, this is Marvel. I joke about that, but this has to have one, right? Power Boom Crunch. I'm never doing that again. Okay. This is breaking news. We come to you now with revelations about last week's attack. I like how they're just in the open, John. I mean, like they hide their relationships normally, the superheroes. Like it's not Peter, it's Spider-Man with her in the open in front of everyone. Spider-Man attacked me for some reason. Are you sure you want to commence the drone attack? There will be significant casualties. Do it! Execute them all! Whoa. He said they'll see what I want him to see. That Spider-Man was responsible for the brutal murder of Mysterio. It's the same guy. His real name is Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. What the? F <laughs> what? So now everybody knows. Is there another scene? There's no other scene. Oh yes, there is. You gotta tell me. It was fine. 
Talos. Come on, Fred. How was I supposed to know that the whole thing was fake? <sighs> I mean, that was all very, very convincing. You know, I mean, this is just embarrassing for a shapeshifter. Fine. Hey, I hope your uh, mission is going well. We gave the glasses to Parker. And, uh, you know, shortly after that, everything kind of went off the rails. And so we need you to come back. Because everyone <laughs> is asking me where the Avengers are. And I don't know what to say to that. So you're lucky that Spider-Man was. So that wasn't real. She called him Nick. That was a whole plot point in Captain Marvel. That's why I picked up on it. And these pricks were in Captain Marvel as well. Everybody back to work. <laughs> Love the way he's walking. <laughs> All right. Dedicated to 11 thanks to Stan Lee and Ditko. Okay. He wasn't in this one. Rest in peace. Legends. Wow, that was quite, quite a movie. Illusions all around. Nick Fury wasn't real. Neither was Agent Hill. Nothing was real in this one. Anyways, before I talk more about this, if you want to see the full length reaction to this movie, and also if you want early access to these videos that go up on... Uh, YouTube, you can. They're available on my Patreon. Link in the description to my Patreon. Thank you so much, patrons. Thank you so much, every single one of you on YouTube, for supporting me all this time. And I'm very much looking forward to hearing from you guys about this movie, because this was crazy. Now then, where do we start? It's a pretty interesting story. Quite a weird one. Difficult to wrap your head around it. For us, the viewer, and also the hero of the movie, Peter squad a lesson for him so he's expected to be the next iron man and that's because tony El tony stark uh nominated him to be the next uh iron man or sort of the lead character in the avengers so i guess not just iron man but also captain america because he was very much a leader uh, in fact, he might have been a bigger leader than Iron Man, but the, the both of them were. And so there were a lot of expectations of Peter Parker. Huge, you know, role on his shoulder, burden on his shoulder. And like I said, he's a kid who's been struggling this whole time. We've seen him sort of grow a little. But still, he's a kid at the end of the day in his school. And, and um, that's partially the reason, as I mentioned at the start, why I like him so much is because of that vulnerability that it brings a bit of realism. You know, it makes him feel like a real human, someone who could exist in the real world like me and you. He's also sticky like me and you, <laughs> you know amongst other things and um so he's a very compelling character and so for him again to go through similar sort of thing and this time it was quite difficult it was psychological it was well i mean at one point the, the, that dude quentin literally like has him standing on captain america's shield with captain america's like it's a statue i believe um his head is like separated from his body then there's the, the grave of tony stark as well and we all know how he felt about that whole situation. Not just him, everyone, but him in particular, because Tony really took him under his wing. And so he was sort of his mentor, his guardian in a way. So it was tough. It was too much to handle, but he handled it pretty well. His Peter Tingle came in handy and uh, he was able to overcome the illusions and try and get to the bottom of it. And, uh, you know, uh, win at the end of the day, which is quite important, but... He had to overcome all these problems before winning. And that's an important lesson you can take from it is, you know, you can win. You just, it doesn't matter how difficult you think it gets. As long as you do not give up, as long as you keep on going forward and keep on learning from your mistakes, you will succeed at the end of the day. Yeah, these movies are really fun and they're very entertaining. This destruction and everything is incredible to watch. But I would also like to take a couple of messages away from that. And I always... You know, that that seems to sort of always be an underlying message in these superhero movies. A good one in this one, I thought, was also the fact that it doesn't matter how, like, up there you are, how successful or rich or whatever you are, 
you go through uh, problems, you have issues. We saw that with Iron Man as well. The guy was rich and successful and all that. But at the end of the day, he wasn't happy. He was Tony Stark and not happy. Happy was his guard. But you know what I mean? He, he had moments where he was not happy. And the thing that made him happy was uh, doing things right for others, mostly. And also Pepper Potts, right? Another person. Peter Parker as well, and all these other people in, in his life. So these are important messages that you can take away from these movies. And like I said, these movies in itself are done so well. The acting's spectacular. The CGI is unbelievably good. The storylines are pretty good as well. I mean, it's kind of uh, repetitive, but, uh, you know, they're still good. The way they execute them, it's good. You know, the music selections... The, the combat in these movies, the action is pretty good. It's very fun, very entertaining. And like I said, then it has a few messages as well, which if you take from them, it can help you in your life, I hope at least. The trauma, the effect that um, such events can have on your mental health. Um, it is an important issue to discuss, and that was... Uh, what was happening there with Peter, right? For majority of the movie, he was struggling with his mental health. It was about um, the, the pain and suffering and the loss of uh, Iron Man and so many others. And he had to get over that and he had to, well, first understand that. And then once he did, he was able to. So again, profound, uh, profound messages, something that we can all learn from. These are things that we will all go through in life, you know, as sad as that sounds, as depressing as that sounds. We all got to go one day, so we're going to have people that we're going to really, really, really miss. And uh, that's fine. You know, that's just how the way it is. And we'll have to move on. We'll have to keep on living, keep on moving forwards. So that's that. Those are like, you know, the overall sort of big messages and stuff from the movie now. But the movie specifically. So we got Mysterio. Never heard of the guy. New character. Entirely new character. The guy who played him is fucking hot. But uh, <laughs> it was really well done. We saw him in a, in a, in a scene, a couple of scenes behind, you know, looking at Peter in just regular clothes. So he was sort of scoping Peter out this whole time. He was setting the whole thing up this whole time. And he's actually real smart. I mean, yeah, but unstable and uh, not as smart to know that that one hit would not take out Peter, but very smart and... Um, not only developing all that tech, but then coming up with each and every single detail of these events, because this was all an illusion. It was all he was directing the whole thing. He was setting the whole thing up. And um, I mean, that scene where, he, uh, you know, uh, Peter gives him the glasses, Edith, right? That whole thing is fake. And the way he talks to him and the way he tricks him, the way he drops the glasses and he, uh, you know, tells him, you look stupid in it. And that was really irresponsible. And, like, he's making him feel bad. And Peter's already, like, he doesn't want that. So he's, like, playing with him there. And it's just so well done. Gets to him and takes Edith from him. That's the thing he needs. And he's, he has even more power. And he gets fired by Tony Stark. And Tony Stark uses his uh, invention for something other than he wanted him to use it for. And so they want revenge it's not just him it's a couple of other people that tony fired as well and from his company and that was kind of the story with uh i'm not sure which iron man but one of the iron mans you know the dude that's in like a russian jail somewhere and like his father stole the tech or whatever and then he comes back uh, to fight him and all that so it's kind of similar sort of to, to to iron man another thing that was sort of similar to iron man was everybody now knows who spider-man is also, he was just in the open with MJ, which I thought was like, like, that's fine, I guess. But mostly in superhero movies, they try to keep like their relationships or personal life private. So like if you see Spider-Man with someone on a date just out in the open, like that's like just telling the whole world that this person is important to me. So like if someone like Quentin or whoever, Thanos, whatever, was to take advantage of you, they would come for her. That's normally the case in these movies. Not with Tony Stark. Also not with Spider-Man, it would seem. And then at the end, they just fully, well, Mysterio fully just reveals him. He's Peter Parker, puts up a picture as well. If you don't know Peter Parker, well, this is what he looks like. And uh, manipulates that whole situation, turns and twists his words to fit his narrative. And even in death, he wins. He gets what he wants. And so I presume that is what is going to be the main focus of the next movie i'm not entirely sure how far ahead that next movie is going to be 
But uh, I think Black Widow is next on the list, so that's the one I'll be watching next, and then so on and so forth. All the movies, I'll be watching every single one of them. I might watch some of the shows. I have been advised not to watch all the shows simply because, well, to quote one of my patrons, it's a waste of time. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be watching all the movies, though, for sure. Because that's just like one movie you watch and then you're done with it. But anyways, yeah, back to the movie. So yeah, J. Jonah Jameson is back and it's the same dude. That's pretty cool. Also, no Stanley in this movie, no cameo. Because the legend is with us no more. Like I said, you know, it, this is the reality of our world. We all have to leave one day. So yeah, may he rest in peace as well as the other guy. I don't know who that is. If someone can help me, um, you know. I'll, with that, provide a bit of information. I'd really appreciate it. And then also at the end, uh, Nick Fury and Agent Hill both are scrolls, which, uh, to whom we are introduced in the Captain Marvel movie. And also in the Captain Marvel movie, they introduced this whole thing with Nick Fury that everybody calls him Fury, not, not Nicholas, not Nick, nothing. And then Agent Hill keeps calling Nick, Nick. And I'm like, I mean, I wouldn't pick on it, but you specifically made that a plot point in his movie and we know all these movies are connected they're all there for a reason everything is there do you know what i mean it's not a mistake so yeah it was very well done there were clues there that if you uh, had picked up on you might have been able to tell what was going on but obviously you couldn't be sure though like MJ said, 67% sure. I was 69% sure. But anyways, yeah, pretty good movie. Enjoyed the heck out of it. I show, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, do drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...